What's up guys? <laughs> uh, welcome to week, I think nine, I really don't know anymore, of my house vlogs. It's really just a vlog series, a weekly vlog series is what it's turned into. Um, it's Monday and it's nine o'clock. Here's what happened. I went to work really early this morning, so I tried to leave early. I didn't really leave early. I left, it was technically time-wise it was early, the amount of time-wise it wasn't early. Anyways, I got home at seven, but I was exhausted. So I was like, I'm just gonna like, kinda lie down and take a nap. And basically ended up sleeping for a couple hours, sort of. I was like, watching TV, I was on my phone, and then I fell asleep, and then I woke up, and then I was kinda like, kind of half sleeping. Anyways, I was gonna just keep sleeping. I was like, no, there's like things that you probably need to do. Although now I can't think of them. But I need to eat, I need to just do stuff and not just sleep all the time. Um, I put my Disneyland cup in the washer and look what happened to my straw. It got really bent, which is okay. It doesn't really affect anything. But I need to eat. I'm really excited because one of my coworkers actually on his way in brought me Denica's, which is a type of restaurant that's local, kind of. And he got me, oh, a Caesar salad. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys a Caesar salad, but it's like my favorite. It's really nothing special, but the dressing is delicious. That's what I like look forward to the most. I'm really excited to eat that. And I still have leftover curry that I can eat. And I need to film. And then I need to go hammer in those nails. There's just so much I need to do, but I'm just so freaking tired. Like, I just want to sleep. That's awful. But I'm going to eat this salad first, and then we're going to go from there. I'm hoping not to stay up super late, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right. Let's eat. Yes. Ugh, my mouth is on fire, along with the Caesar salad. Ah, I got chips and salsa, and it was so spicy. Ah, ah. I thought I'd be productive and at least hammer the nails into the bookcase, you know? I was watching It's Complicated, one of my favorite movies. I love that movie. There's this point in time where I literally watch that movie like every day of my life. It was crazy. Oh, my mouth is on fire right now. Maybe I should get some water. Ah, it's like I'm dying. Ah. It's like a weird turn to the Hulk. That's not what. That's not what he sounds like. Oh my God, my mouth is on fire. Uh, oh, oh, my facial hair is getting out of control. I need to get that fixed. Okay. Okay, I feel a little bit better. My lips are kind of on fire, but okay. Whew. Okay. Back at it, with a real hammer this time. I'm very excited. All I have to do is hammer these nails into these little areas, and then I'm basically done with this one. I just have to put the shelves in, which will be easy. So, I'm gonna hammer away. This is a really little hammer. I didn't realize. Okay, I'm gonna keep hammering and I'll show you guys the finished product in a minute. Okay, there were some casualties with this bookshelf. I didn't line up the back part very well, and so when I was trying to hammer in this nail, it actually like tore through the back of the shelf. So once I lift this up, we'll probably see the damage, which I'm not really excited about. There's probably gonna be more damage too. Ugh. Okay, it's not terrible. You see where I, let's see if you can see it. Oh yeah. I definitely like hammered through the shelf. That's okay. Not too shabby though, huh? Not too shabby. Not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the three shelves that I have. I don't know exactly where I wanna put them, but I'll have to measure out some pops just to see how high I can go. Let's do it. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the bookshelf in the corner for right now. It might move, but I'm hoping that I could potentially fit three of these across this wall. And then I guess I won't have necessarily a bookshelf here, or if there's enough space, I can put three across but have the corner available so that I could potentially put a bookshelf right here. I don't know if that's overdoing it. Mac is like, yes, furniture, because there's literally no furniture. So I have the little like shelf holder things. I'm trying to see, see here's the thing that sucks. 
they have the pre-drilled holes. So I was gonna try to go three pops high right here, but that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to put the shelf, what, like here or here, and then see how many high I can go up. I'm not quite sure. And then I'm gonna have the same issue down here that I'll have to test out. I'm gonna test it and then we're gonna do it because that's what we do here. King of the house, this guy. He is the king of the house. I can't wait until we're actually like hanging up here all the time. I think there's gonna be a cool little hangout room. I'm really excited. I think he's gonna like it too. He doesn't come up here very often because I'm not really up here and there's nothing here, but there's so many windows. I actually think he's gonna really enjoy like looking out the window. Like obviously he already enjoys it. And then there's this ledge. Although I was gonna put like pops on here, but I might have to be careful because Mac's probably gonna wanna jump on here and then if I like, if they fall off the stairs, they're gonna break. So we'll have to see. That might have to be Max area. All right, I'm not the biggest fan of this, only because the shelves are so funky because it can't move that one, right? That one's stationary. So it's like, here, I'll show you. So like on the bottom one, I can fit two pops and there's like space in between, right? And then on this one, I can do two with space in between as well. And then on this one, this is set right now for two, but at like the perfect height. And then on this one, it's two right here. And this is not, I can't put the pin on this hole. So I have to put on the next one. So it's like two of space, but then on the top, you can't, you can only fit one because it's not tall enough. Like, I'd have to put it like sideways like this, although that does work. I don't want to really do that, but hmm. Maybe I'll put my movie moments up here. What do you guys think? And then all Funko Pops here. So in theory, how many Funko Pops can I fit on this shelf? So on all of these, I can do three deep. How many across? I don't have enough pops up here. <laughs> I should stop being lazy and just go downstairs and get more pops, but I'm being lazy. <gasps> oh gosh, that's what I get for being lazy. Okay, so that's five. The question is, can we fit another one? Yes! So six across, two high, three deep. What does that mean? That means <laughs> math, it means math. So six times two is 12 times three is 36. So I can fit 36 on this shelf. Is that what I can do for all of these? This one's gonna be a little bit more of a tight fit, but I think it's gonna be the same, yeah. Where I'm gonna be able to fit 36 here, 36 here, 30. So 36 times one, two, three, four, plus, what is this, just the six times three. Six times three is 18. So this top shelf can fit 18 plus some that are lying sideways. My phone alarm is going off and I've been too lazy to go downstairs and actually like turn it off, but it's bothering me now. Max, like what? Can you hear my phone alarm? Ugh. It's like weird how you can hear that from so far away. It's so annoying. I shouldn't be drinking like soda this late. It's not really soda, but it's kind of like soda. Okay. Oh, I should bring my phone so I can make the phone do the math instead of me because math. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. Hello, Mac. So we're doing 36 times one, two, three, four, times four plus 18. So each one of these bookshelves, I think, did I do that right? I think can hold, did I do that right? 12 times three, yeah, 36, 162 pops. I actually think in my house right now, actually, hmm, no, I don't have 162 pops in my house right now because I think the pops, I definitely have 162, I think if you count all the pops in this house and all the pops in my parents' house. 
So, I wonder if I have enough pops to actually legitimately fill three of these bookshelves. That would be almost 600 pops. I'm pretty sure I have that, I think. I don't really know, actually. And then, like, potentially on the top shelf and on the very top, I probably might do, like, the big, like, what if I did all my 10-inch on the top and then, like, movie moments on these shelves? I think these are tall enough to do the movie moments. And then just do Funko Pops on these. And then I want to get a smaller bookshelf because I was thinking like this was going to be my filming area. Although I don't know exactly like where I'd put the camera. Like would I do this whole row of bookshelves and then put like maybe like a little table here. And then my nerdy noob. I don't know if it'll fit right here but the cork. The cool cork thing that I have with pins. And then do like a smaller bookshelf potentially here with like artwork I can do fan artwork I don't know and then I could get another bookshelf if I needed one right here that's a lot of bookshelves and honestly I could also put bookshelves all along this wall I actually really like this wall but in theory this little area seems better fit for the TV because there's a TV hookup and a sofa right here I could always put a sofa and the TV on that side and then film here, but I think that side has better lighting. I'm not really quite sure. Although this side has a ceiling fan, so when it gets hot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah. This is the one thing that I'm like not looking forward to having to think about like when it comes to setting it up because I want it to be really cool. So I don't want to just like dump things in places. Like I want it to actually be really, really cool. Like I want to put the short bookshelves. Walmart has these, it's like four shelf bookshelves, and I think they're about this height right here, and I want to get the, like, just line this whole wall full of those bookshelves, and then I could put, like, Funko Pops, but, like, Mystery Minis on top. I don't even think I have that many Funko Pops, so I don't know. I really think I need to gauge better how many Funko Pops I have. I think it's weird that I bought this house with the thought of my Funko Pops in mind and a filming area, but how dope would this space be with, like, all bookshelves lined and all Funko Pops all over. Do you guys like the black bookshelf? I like black and I knew my walls were light colored which is why I opted for black and I also just like black in general. I'm wondering if it's gonna get too small and too dark in here if I get all black bookshelves. What do you guys think? Who is an interior designer that would know the answer to that? I like the way that pops and then when I have Funko Pops on that it's gonna pop so hard off of the black I think. I think it's going to be good. It might be a little bit much if I get all black all the way around, so I might have to figure out what might be a little bit better. What do you guys think? Like, maybe gray? <laughs> I'm so bad when it comes to designing anything, so I'm still excited, though. Okay, I'm really tired right now, and I don't want to do it yet. So tomorrow I'm going to start, actually I might start, I don't know, I might start carrying my book or my pops up here to be in this space. And then tomorrow I'll start stashpedia-ing, stashpedia-ing, stashpedia-ing all of my Funko Pops so I can start working on my collection. I'm very excited about that too. Okay, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go to bed now. Thanks for um, watching me build my awesome bookshelf. I need to build another one, which should be a piece of cake. That's a lie. It might not be a piece of cake. I hope that I can fit three in there. And I'm kind of hoping that I can fit three. It doesn't look like it though, huh, on the camera. Hmm. I think it'll just fit three or, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Tell me, tell me. Oh, so blurry, so blurry. Hey guys, it's uh, Thursday. I am so tired. I'm like so beat. <sighs> um, it's 10.22, I just got home from work, and I'm like tired and hungry, but I know that I need to go to bed, and I want, there's just so much stuff I want to do. I really want to film, I've been on a really good streak lately, and I've been trying to post, I don't know if you guys might start to know this, I've been trying to post two videos a day, one video being kind of like a Funko Pop type video, and one video being a sub box, because I love doing both. But like sometimes I tend to do like a lot of sub boxes or just like a lot of Funko Pops and a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I don't know. So I like doing a mixture. I try to kind of make it a thing like, okay, one day or one video do Funko Pop type thing and then one video do sub box. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. 
I want to show you guys this though. This is the reason I want to vlog. So last night I made soft boiled eggs because I tried a couple nights ago and it just was a disaster. This might have been a disaster. I don't know. I haven't opened them. So I made soft boiled eggs and I borrowed some marinade from my dad. He does braised eggs and beef. So I, I borrowed some of his braising liquid. And basically, I made my soft boiled eggs, and then these have been, oh, that's not a very good sign. Is that the yolk? Oh, no. These have been marinating. They marinated overnight, and then I took them out this morning. Although, if that's the yolk, then I will not have achieved what I'm looking for. So, I'm going to cut this egg open with one hand. I don't know if I can. I'm not that talented. Okay. Let me put my camera down. So, in theory... I'm worried because I think this is yolk. Oh yeah, it is yolk. Dang it. Darn. No, it's not. It's not. Okay. So we're looking for a liquid center. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Mmm. I haven't achieved a ramen egg yet, which I'm still trying to work on. I need to go maybe this weekend to get some mirin. Let's see how this tastes. This was a six and a half minute soft boiled egg. So I did six and a half minutes and I dumped it in an ice bath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The yolk is a little bit either overcured or overcooked. I don't know which one. But I got good liquidy center. Mm. The um the marinade's not as strong as I thought it was gonna be, to be honest. It's still delicious. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, I definitely overcooked it. Mm-hmm. That one was a little bit overcooked. Is this weird? It seems a little bit weird. I know. Sorry. Okay, let's try this one. Oh. You think I'm talented enough to cut it with one hand? No, I'm not. Darn. This one's all bit over. It's either overcooked or overcured. I'm not quite sure. I didn't, they weren't in there for that long, but you can see the yolk on the on the outer layer. Well, started to overcook a little bit. It's still delicious, but, so I overcooked it a tad bit. I can't wait until I can master the Japanese ramen marinade with, it's like mirin, soy sauce, and dashi broth. I think some recipes had sake. Mac is here. I just got home, so I need to feed him. So he's crying because I need to feed him. Darn, I definitely overcooked these. Man, I was pretty confident too. Here's the thing. I don't know if there's more people out there like me. I absolutely hate hard-boiled egg yolks, like when they're all the way cooked. They're just so dry and they don't ever taste like anything. My favorite type of egg is a sunny-side-up egg. I love sunny-side-up egg. I like fried eggs. I love that. But I actually love hard-boiled eggs. I actually love hard-boiled eggs. I just don't like the yolk, so I usually throw the yolk away. The yolk's really not that great for you, but my favorite part of a sunny-side-up egg is the yolk, like the liquid yolk. It's my favorite part. So to be able to now make hard-boiled eggs that have a liquid yolk, it's like the greatest invention in the world. Like whoever came up with that was amazing. They are so smart. Now I just have to learn how to cook it perfectly and then I'll be golden. How many of you guys, how many of you guys out there, I know not everyone eats eggs in general. And I actually, I don't know why I don't eat as many, like, I probably could eat eggs every day. I actually like eggs. I just don't like cooking eggs. It just takes it's just so much effort sometimes. I'm trying to talk to you guys and do the dishes and feed Mac. This is a terrible angle, but I'm going to go with it just while I'm feeding Mac. But yeah. I love eggs and I just uh, I just don't like cooking them. Just so much effort sometimes. Like the soft boiled eggs are a lot of effort and then especially if you're marinating them, um, you can't eat them right away. You have to let them marinate for a couple hours so that kind of sucks. Mac just jumped up on the counter. Come here Mac. He like knows when the camera's here. He's like, nope, I'm not walking by. Anyways, all right. I need to film but I'm really tired, like really tired and I work again early tomorrow. So I need to figure out what I want to do. I really don't want to go another day with, I don't like, and actually it's been pretty consistent that Fridays are the days that I usually go without filming, but I just don't want to do that. I don't like that. I think I should eat dinner. I just ate those two eggs though. I had some curry earlier. I had 
a little bit of leftover curry from when I cooked it, but you know what I really want? And I think I'm gonna have because I'm an adult and I can do what I want. Yeah. I was gonna eat salad, but I'm too lazy to make it. I am gonna do what's in my freezer. Pretty much the same stuff except new addition. I bought some mint chocolate chip ice cream yesterday. And I also got these, um, I love these, like the Italian ice cups or whatever. This was only $2, it was on sale. It was okay, it was like $2.79. But I love these, these things like a lot. So I'm gonna eat one of those. Uh oh, I messed up the box. What did I do? Oh well. Can I put it there? Yeah. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm probably gonna head upstairs and I probably am just gonna go to bed tonight. I'm so tired. Maybe if I can handle it, I'll wake up early tomorrow, but I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. But um, I'm gonna film this Saturday and Sunday and maybe tomorrow night, which is Friday night, because I'm gonna start bringing my Funko Pops upstairs because I got my bookshelf made, yes. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye. <laughs> Hi guys, I don't even know what I've vlogged this week to be honest um today is sunday and i just I feel like i'm blurry i just posted last week's vlog it's super late but i haven't filmed any video so i have nothing to post so i thought i would edit that and post it and i uh i've just had a really lazy morning i kind of had a lazy day yesterday too i ended up having to go into work early and i just kind of did some stuff and then i ended up coming home and going to bed at like eight o'clock but I'm hoping to film a bunch of videos today. I'm hoping to start putting Funko Pops on this bookshelf and hoping to put them on my Stashpedia as well as potentially building this bookshelf. And if it goes well, I might go to the store and get another one so I can just have all three of them here. I don't have enough pops in this house to fill all three bookshelves, but you know, I wanna like organize them somehow, some way, somehow. So I gotta figure that out. But I'm not gonna lie, it's already one o'clock. I feel like I need to take another nap. I've been trying not to judge myself for not wanting to like do a whole bunch of stuff because I think I'm just mentally exhausted and I just need to like chill, you know? So I'm just kind of doing things how I'm doing them. Mac is hiding. We actually cuddled earlier and it was like the coolest thing ever and then my arms started to get really hot. So then I had to move him and he got mad. Watching Wicked Tuna because I love Wicked Tuna. And then I'm gonna finish my leftover curry because I have a little bit left over. I'm gonna finish that up, eat it, see how I feel afterwards, and then hopefully film. I'll show you guys in a second. I went to my P.O. box yesterday and I had so many boxes, 15 boxes that I had to get. So I'll show you those ones and then I gotta start filming because I still have, this is still without the 15 boxes I just picked up yesterday. So if you can imagine, what it's gonna look like with 15 more boxes. I definitely need to figure out this whole filming thing because I'm overloaded. Like I need to figure it out. Maybe I'll just do a live stream and like just open up a crap ton of boxes. That could be something. But I'm gonna eat my curry and then I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do with the day. Hey guys, I've had a really unproductive Sunday but I must say I was driving home, I got some food. I got some, uh, well I went Japanese. So I got gyoza and then I got a bunch of sashimi which is in my refrigerator right there because I'm gonna eat that next. But as I was driving home, I was kind of excited because I was like, wow, this is like the first day that I've had in a really long time where there's just no work involved. And it was really exciting and really nice. Um, but I haven't gotten anything done. It's already seven o'clock, 7.20. So I'm gonna eat. You know what's so funny? Is I was thinking about doing a wine series edition, but then I realized I don't really have any wine. I don't have a bottle of it, I don't have anything. I do have this. It's like Prosecco, I think. Grapefruit. I don't know. This is like, I don't know. I feel like that would make me really hungover. But I'll think about it because I do have a lot of boxes, which I still need to show you because I still need to take them out of my car. But I'm gonna eat. You know what I've been doing all day? I have been watching United States of Terror, which I used to watch when it was on, but it's done now. It finished a long time ago. But I'm like re-watching it because there's a new YouTuber. I think it's like Alex Hahn. I don't know if you guys have seen her online on YouTube, but she has DID. So it's like super interesting and it just made me think of United States of Terror. So I, I'm re-watching it right now and it's just so interesting. It's such an interesting show. I'm binge watching it is what's happening. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating so I can get stuff done. Cause I do wanna start putting pops on my stashpedia tonight. So that's the plan. 
I've been saying that for like the past five weeks, so we'll see. Okay guys, we have a situation here. First of all, it's Monday, which should be the start of a new vlog week, but because it's, I have the day off because it's Labor Day, I'm just gonna continue on since I feel like I didn't actually film all that much this week. Um, I've just spent legitimately, it's, it's uh, Monday, Labor Day, 4, 11 p.m. and I just legitimately spent the past two days binge watching binge re-watching United States of Terra. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't like do anything other than like I had to finish it. It was terrible. It was great. It's a great show. I just finished it. Again, it's four o'clock. I've been watching it since, it's been like since 7.30 this morning. So stupid. Um, but I need to actually get stuff done today. I haven't done anything. Literally have done nothing. And I feel terrible about it, but then I also am like, maybe it's good. I've been, I feel like running around and, just binge watching TV shows. I haven't done that in a while where I just lay in bed and I just binge watch TV shows. So I'm trying to come to terms with it being okay that I did that. But I also need to, uh, I need to do stuff. So I'm going to unpack my car with all the boxes that I got for my PO box. And then I'm gonna film some videos because I haven't posted in three days. I technically posted my vlog yesterday, but that doesn't count. I haven't posted a real legitimate unboxing video for three days. That's a really long time. And it made me pretty flustered. It's making me flustered. And then after I film, I probably need to call my parents and see if they want to do dinner. And then I also need to start bringing all my Funko Pops upstairs because that's my ultimate goal. So that's what we're going to do and try to get something done. We got to get something done. Oh, look at my hair. It's crazy. It's because I just spent all day in bed. That's why. <sighs> oh my gosh. I almost went on filming through without showing you guys all the boxes I got. I just finished filming the Ferrera Market box. It was okay. Um, but what? I don't even remember which boxes I brought in. I'm gonna stay far away because I have all my shipping labels that I haven't crossed out yet. I got my Geek Feel, I got a couple of Funko um, pop-up shop boxes. I have, I got a Shumian, I got another Lootware, which I need to do that because they're starting to pile up. I also got the other, uh, what's that box? So the Guava Juice box. I think that's a Guava Juice box. I still have my Darren's Pokemon box, that's pretty old. I got this new box in, this is from Hot Topic, but I think that's my Disney Treasures. I did get um, a couple box, lunch boxes, a Target box, an Entertainment Earth box, and then I got something from, I forgot where this is from. Chalice Collectibles, I think that's some kind of mystery box. Same thing with the one above it, it's Poptopia. I still have a bunch of other like Lutakus and Akibentos and the Geek Gear and the Super Geek box. I have a Luke Gaming, I have the Deadpool box I still need to open. I have a bunch of WWE crates from the past however many months. I did get a new PO Box presence in. That is a nice little hefty collection right there that I need to um, film. So I'm gonna try to knock out as many videos as I can right now and we'll see where we go. I've been trying to do like one sub box and one Funko pop box type thing like, I don't know, but my battery's running out. So I'm gonna keep filming. Yes, I'll check in with you when I'm done. I didn't mean to say I'm so angry. I sounded very angry just now. Oh man, oh, what is that? It's like a pimple and a scratch, that's awful. That's awful, honestly, oh, I didn't even know when did that come, that's terrible. It's probably all the fried food I've been eating. I've literally just been eating. I woke up this morning at like nine o'clock and ate hot Cheetos. That's the first thing I did. Now that I'm done telling you my deepest and darkest secrets. Uh, okay, the day has gone by. It's 7.40. I just finished eating. I didn't show you anything, but I got Mexican. I was craving Mexican, so I went and got a crispy chicken taco, two crispy beef tacos, and two cheese enchiladas. One with green sauce and one with red sauce. I still prefer the green sauce. I love green sauce on my cheese enchiladas. I don't even like enchiladas with meat, I just like it with cheese, because I just like the sauce. I think I just like the sauce. I'm one of those people that will buy things just for the sauce. Like if the sauce sounds good, I'll get that whole item just so I can try the sauce. I love sauce. Earlier today when I started filming at like 4.30, I ended up filming I think 10 videos, although some of them are short, not by choice, just by accident. I still have a good amount of videos that I need to film, but I definitely like, the, that's all the trash, but I definitely cut it down a little bit. I still have quite a number of boxes to get through. I don't think I'm gonna film again tonight because it, I don't know if any of you guys do YouTube or just in general, like even vlogging sometimes, filming takes a lot from you. Like it, it's not easy because you kind of have to turn it on a little bit. Like in my videos, I'm pretty much like how I am normally, but 
it just like work. Like sometimes you just have to turn it on a little bit extra just because like that's what you have to do. So it can be exhausting. So I'm gonna finish cleaning up down here. I forgot that today was Monday, so that means tomorrow's two days, Tuesday, so I have to take the garbage out, which is fine, but I should break down all this recycling and put it in today so that it gets picked up tomorrow. So I'll have to try to do that as well. But what I wanted to start doing today so I can end out this vlog is actually, I'm gonna start carrying my Funko Pops upstairs and I'm gonna organize them in a way that has like, definitely the ones I wanna keep for my collection and then potentially like a thing on the side of Funko Pops that I'm not sure if I wanna keep and or, you know, sell or put in the giveaway, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna start sorting that out so I can start putting them on my Stashpedia. So let's go and do that, shall we? I think I might be one of the laziest people like in the world. It's awful. Um, <laughs> I came up here at 8 o'clock. I carried one box of Funko Pops, which I lined up over there. If you can see them. Can you see them? See them. Or there they are. And then I started watching YouTube videos. And now it's almost 9 o'clock. And I haven't done anything. Ah, jeez. Oh, the air conditioning is about to come on, so it's gonna be loud. It was kind of warm up here, so I turned, I turned the air conditioning on so that I wouldn't be dying. I need to carry more Funko Pops. I just don't wanna walk up and down the stairs. I need to carry more Funko Pops up here so I can put them on my Stashpedia. Maybe I should just Stashpedia these ones, because I know I'm gonna keep these ones for sure. I think I'm gonna stack ones that I'm not planning on keeping, any dupes that I have, or just ones that I don't feel like keeping over here and then maybe this will just be a full wall of just like giveaway pops <sighs> what am i doing with my life you guys what am i doing <laughs> okay maybe let's do stashpedia okay, let's do that we're that's what we're gonna do let me put you guys on here i know it's a little bit dark sorry let me get my phone what's what's on my feet what do we have rocco and incredibles 2. okay so for those of you who don't know i have a stashpedia I feel like I've been pimping out my Stashpedia for the past, I don't even know how long. There's Mac, he's been crying for the past like ever because he's not used to being up here and so he's just been like, I don't know, crying. Okay, here's my Stashpedia. Um, oh, what's my Stashpedia name? Nerdy Noob, it's just Nerdy Noob. Just like, just like one word. Focus, focus. And then it's a picture of me and Mac. So you guys can look me up on Stashpedia. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try, I haven't added anything to my Stashpedia, so I don't even know how this works. Do you, can you only have like one collection folder? Or can I have two, or how does that? Add the items you have in your collection by tapping the trophy icon. How do I, wait, I did click it. How come it's not? I'm clicking the trophy. I'm clicking the trophy. How do I add it? I don't know. Okay, well let's just try this. So. I'm on their just home page. Can I do a scan? Scan barcode, yes. Which one should I add first? Let's make it like, like, uh, let's do the Wally. Let's do our, our box lunch exclusive Wally. Oh gosh, I can't scan it because it's, gonna, it's not gonna work, huh? With the stupid box lunch sticker. Okay, I'm gonna have to type this one in. I'm gonna just type it. Wally. Okay, Wally. Box lunch exclusive, $22. This doesn't look anything like the box that it came in. Do you guys see this box? They make the box look way more like gray and yellow, but it's like legitimately brown because it's recycled. Okay, add to collection. Woohoo! We got our first pop in my collection, yes! That took me only like five months. What's another one that we can do? Let's do our violet because it, it doesn't have a sticker over the barcode, so let me try doing the, look, my collection is worth $22, yes. Okay, we're gonna try to do the scanning of Violet on here. Maybe I'll show you guys this right here. Okay, so here's the regular barcode that I'm gonna try to scan. All of the other ones, like the Hot Topic ones, they all have stickers over them, so I'm gonna click on, here's my thing. Um, Scan barcode. Whoa, that was that was so fast. Wow, that happened so quickly. Okay. Violets add to collection. Eight dollars. Yeah, buddy. Okay, Violet. You are officially in the collection. Good job. 
good job. Look at my collection. It's so big. All right, should we keep going? I, I hate how some of these don't have the, um, the barcode. Let's do a, can I do the scan through barcode through these like pop protectors? Dang it, I think if it has a pop protector, it's not gonna work. Nuts, okay, I'll just have to type it in. Dig em frog, $12, add to collection. This is gonna take forever. This is gonna take forever. So Quail Man's worth $13 right now. I'm not gonna actually put these in any kind of um, specific setup on the bookcase. I'm just gonna try to get them into this app because I feel like that's gonna take me forever. Add to collection for Quail Dog. You guys, if it won't let me scan with all the stupid, with the pop protectors, that's terrible. Oh, it worked, it worked, it worked. It worked, it worked, it worked, okay. $11, add to collection. Boom, boom, bam, got it. Metallic Army Man is worth $16. I like the Emerald City, the Emerald City Con exclusive, the regular one, that one's worth 20 right now. Okay, let's do this Hello Neighbor. I wasn't sure, like, I'm obsessed with this pop because I like its head, but I don't know if I really should keep it, but I'm going to, because for right now, I like it. Let's do our Spider-Man, our Walmart. This is one of my favorite um, pops. This is Spider-Man in a homemade suit, but without his mask. This was a Walmart pop that I got real cheap, but I need to get the full Spider-Man in a homemade suit without, like, not the exclusive one. This is worth $13, and I got it for, like, $3. No joke. I remember getting this. It was some kind of, like, rollback deal. So we got Jack Jack Chrome. He is worth $16. I still haven't been able to find... I need to get the Giants one, which is going for $74 on Stashpedia. I would be willing to pay up to $100 for him. So I might wait a little bit to see if the price goes down. Um, and then Fire Jack Jack from Target is $33. I still was never able to get my hands on that. Fire Jack Jack from Target is even more expensive than the, the shop, the Funko Shop one. That's how you know that the freaking Target, they're super smart about it. I mean, they're super smart about how they've been releasing it. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's really hard to get, um, to get Target exclusives, it's awful. Okay, let's do, I'm gonna try to bar scan code our Stones Keeper, that's our Funko Shop exclusive. $69, wow. I had no idea. I really like this pop a lot. I was really excited I was able to get it because it was a little bit intense that day. Oh, very cool, okay. So, so far, how many pops do I have? What does my collection look like? This is what it looks like so far. I put all my pops that have pop protectors down here, and then those are the two that don't have pop protectors, just so they don't get smushed. Okay, so I've done two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve pops. I have twelve pops in here, and my collection's worth two hundred and six dollars. Yes, it's so funny because people always ask me how many Funko pops I have, and I'm like, I have absolutely no idea. So then I try to gauge like how many Funko Pops do I have just in this house? And I try to do that at my parents' house and I remember like looking at my headboard and it's like, oh my God, I have like, I have like 100 Pops just on my headboard and like around. But I was, it was funny because I was in over here and I was like trying to count my um, Funko Pops here and this is like 30 Funko Pops just right here. Now I do have some duplicates so I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do with those, if I want to keep them, take them out of the box, or put them in my giveaway or my cell area. But I'm gonna move all these upstairs. And then I still have a whole bunch of pops downstairs that I need to bring up. My, I know my mom dropped off a bunch of Funko Pops. I wanna say, some of those were from my, my um, headboard from my parents' house. I think she put some in my closet. Yeah, these are Funko Pops, I believe. Actually, I think these are not Funko Pops. Oh, there's some Funko Pops, actually. Oh, these are some Wally Funko Pops. Okay, well, let's grab these and bring these upstairs, and we'll put these in my Stashpedia. Oh my god, I made a mess. I made a mess in my house. What's cracking? And look at me. I just have to walk up all, all of these stairs. I'm not complaining because it's a really good leg workout, and I ate Mexican for dinner, which was super unhealthy. I didn't make my bed today, sorry, because I laid in it all day long while watching United States of Terra. This vlog is gonna be really long. Okay, okay. 
This is kind of fun, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Let's just do a couple more. I'm just will wish. I'm just gonna. Oh, this is my Game Boy alarm clock. I'm totally gonna set this up next to my bed. Okay, what do we have? We have our Eric Killmonger. I really like the um, Black Panther set. I I haven't finished collecting that. You know, I've decided to just like take it easy with the Funko Pops, like not stress out around because they're. They're growing really fast, Funko is. And it's cool to see, except with that, I feel like they're growing too fast. I'm a little bit worried about them, to be honest. I feel like they're growing too fast. They're really understanding supply and demand. It's challenging, though, when you're actually hunting for pops now because, um, you know, it's funny. I was just watching Top Pops', um, it's like a vlog or whatever. He was at the Fan Expo in Canada, and he was looking at the Bullseye Funko Pop and it was like $125 and I was like, what? Do you guys remember when I got the Bullseye Funko Pop? I just happened to be at Target and they just had it. It was like the craziest thing and I think I bought two of them because I love Bullseye the dog, the Target dog, and like it's crazy to even think that it's worth that much. You know what I mean? Like, and I miss the days at Target when you could just show up and then there just happened to be Funko Pops because now everybody like knows about them and it's just not as, it's not as cool, you know? Or it just doesn't happen that way. Okay, Eric Killmonger, he's very common, he's only worth $7 at to collection. I wonder if anyone, like, is anybody watching me do this? Or like, how does that work? Do they see me doing this? Okay, we have our Black Panther Warrior Falls. I love this Funko Pop. I, I still need to get the new Eric Killmonger with the scars. Oh, he's only worth $8, but that's okay because I actually really like this one a lot. Oh, almost dropped him. Last one and then I'll leave you guys be so you guys don't have to watch me do this. I feel like this would be a great live streaming activity. Like if I just sat here and I was doing all this on a live stream, I feel like that'd be perfect. So I might need to do that. Okay, Dryden Voss. Can't imagine he's worth all that much because, oh wow. Wow, this guy's worth $16? He is an FYE exclusive, but like, he was really easy to find, I think. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That's crazy, $16? Wow, I feel like I need to put all my Star Wars pops all together, because I think this whole bag is all of our, our solo pops. He wasn't worth that much, because he's easy to find, right, Lando? The Hot Topic exclusive Lando? Oh, I can't do the... That's the only thing. I can't do the, the scanning on the, um, on the whatever it's called. See, like, he's only worth, see, like, this sucks. This is the Hot Topic Lando, and he cost me $12.50, and he's only worth $11. I mean, that's part of, like, what happens. Like, that's the risk that you take with these pops, is that some of them might be worth a lot, some of them might not be worth anything. Oh, my Velociraptor. <laughs> oh, dang it. I got this from Box Lunch, so it has a sticker. That's annoying. I feel like they should learn to not put it like on the barcode. Hey, he's worth 11 bucks. I paid 10, 10 90 although I'm sure I probably got him like on sale cheaper. I like the dino. I like all the Jurassic Park pops. I actually kind of want to collect all of them and ugh, I just like dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. I've always really liked dinosaurs. I told you guys I was going to stop filming, but I'm just going. This is gonna be like an extra long vlog. Okay, I'm putting my first two pack in here. This is only worth $16. I feel like I paid more for this than $16, but again, that was me trying to get the solo pops. Ooh, my little T-Rex pop. I wish I would've bought two of these because now that I have my 10 inch T-Rex pop, I feel like it's gonna be like fun to put the big one and the little one. So I might try to uh, get another one of these to take out of the box. That way I can I can have them together. Okay, this little guy is worth $13. My big one that I just opened in one of my videos early today is worth 43, so that's pretty cool. The only thing I hate about these, like the T-Rex one, I'm gonna have to have a shelf. Oh, what if I put, let me just show you guys, okay. What if I put just like all of my sideways pops up here on the top. Does, can it fit? Can you like fit? <gasps> oh, perfect, you guys. Oh, I'll put all my sideways pops up here. Although my tomatella or whatever you call it, it wouldn't look that great up there because it's not like, you know, cause it's like sideways. But if I get any more sideways pops, yeah, it's going on the top. We have 11 box lunch exclusive with a bloody nose and a box of egos. They call it 11 punk. 
she's worth $13. The collector in me likes this app because it tells me how much each of the pops is worth, so it'll tell me how much my collection is worth. It's so funny because it's not like I'm sitting here going like, I have a duplicate Lando, so I set that to a side. It's not like I'm sitting here planning on like selling all of these, but like, if I ever wanted to, then it's like, okay, well, at least I know how much everything's worth. Um, we have our Flock Chewbacca. That's our box lunch exclusive. This guy is not worth that much because he's still available. Like, I've, I've gone to the store and I still see him. But I like him a lot, so that's cool. Yeah, he's only worth $13, and I paid $14.90 for him. So, uh, that one didn't age well. well. We'll say that. It didn't age well. Okay. Oh, this was that cool, um, I forgot I got this shirt. Yes. What else? Do I have? That's it. And my game, my Game Boy alarm clock. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing this, but I just wanted to show you guys me putting these in my app. Oh, I guess I can show you guys now. So I added all of these into my app. So my collection stands at 20 pops, and it's worth $303 so far. Um, I'm excited to put all of my Funko Pops from this house in here and on this bookshelf and then go to my parents' house and get the rest of my Funko Pops from their house and then go to my old house and bring all those over here. I feel like, especially as I start really doing this, it's gonna make me want to get all of my Funko Pops from my other house faster because I have been a little bit slow at moving out of my other house. My, my sister's gonna punch me in the face soon about that. But maybe that'll help me speed up the process. It's the end of the week. Technically, I actually went one day over, but since I had today off, I considered it still the weekend. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, this is week nine, I think, of the vlog, or week eight, week nine. I don't really remember, but thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you guys had a good time. I don't even remember anything that I vlogged other than me doing all this, but um, I'm really excited to work on this coming up week, work on building that bookshelf. I'm probably going to go to the store and get another one because I think I can fit three bookshelves right here. So this will just be a wall of bookshelves. I'm also contemplating getting the shorter bookshelves all across this wall. Um, and then potentially maybe, I don't know, I could do one tall one, one tall one, and one shorter one here, or I could put a couple on that side. I don't really know, but it's exciting. I don't even think, to be honest, I think I just wanna buy one bookshelf at a time because I actually don't know how many Funko Pops I have. Like, I might only have one bookshelf worth of Funko Pops. Who knows? I think I have more than one bookshelf. If you count all of my Funko Pops, I think I have a whole lot. But I really don't know. It's like weird because I see people doing their collection videos sometimes and they're like, wow, look, I have like 500 Funko Pops. And I'm like, I thought I for sure had 500, but then when I see these people, I'm like, maybe not because they seem to buy Funko Pops way more than I do, but who knows. Anyways, you know the other thing I need to get better at? I wanna start trading Funko Pops. I feel like, I feel like I can actually get my hands on other Funko Pops if I trade. Because you guys know sometimes I buy like two of each pop. Like I could just trade one and then get more Funko Pops, you know? But I'm not good at shipping. That's the problem. That's the one thing holding me back from that. Okay, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day, week, whatever it is that you're watching this. I don't even know when I'm going to post this. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me this week. I hope that you had fun, and I can't wait to keep showing you guys my collection. And, uh, oh, wow, the echo is really bad up there. Sorry. But, yeah, my collection and just how I'm able to build that room upstairs. Like, I'm really excited about it. So, anyways, all right, guys. Have a great rest of your week. Mac, do you want to say bye? Mac. Do I say bye? No? Okay. Oh, there he goes. He said bye. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me, and I will see you guys next week for another house vlog. Until then, see you guys later. Bye!